Welcome to Singapore American School. This video is going to walk you through the uh, online screen request process for all incoming middle school students. Now, to do this, we're going to use PowerSchool, and, and there, there's some links on how to access PowerSchool that you should have received um, in the email along with this video. Um, now, if you already have a kid in middle school, chances are you already have an account, in which case you can just sign in using your username and password. If you've forgotten either one of those, click on the link here below. If this is your first child in middle school, you might have to create an account and you can click on the create account tab and follow the instructions that are linked in this email. I already have an account, so I'm gonna sign in using my username and password. All right, so here I am. This is now the main uh, PowerSchool page. And, and if you already have a kid in middle school again, uh, your kid can also log in and do this as well. So feel free to do that together. Um, on the top left-hand corner here, I can see the names of my, of my children. And so if you have more than one child, you can just navigate between these different tabs. But the, the main page we're gonna use is we're gonna look at the class registration icon. So after clicking on the class registration button, it's gonna take me to the class registration page. And we're gonna walk through each of the different steps here. Um, the main way to navigate this is you're gonna use these little pencil icons on the far left-hand, or sorry, the far right-hand side of the screen. So the first step here is the grade six core classes. Now, uh, these have already all been selected for you because there's no choices to be made, so there's absolutely nothing you need to do here. The first choice you need to do is, is math. So I'm gonna click on the pencil icon and it's gonna open up my two math choices. In grade six, you can select your math course. So if you wanna choose math six, you click the math six button. If you wanna choose math six plus, you click on the math six plus button. Uh, again, families have choice of which math class they wish to take, and you can use the uh, math readiness report uh, to help guide you in that decision. Um, one thing to note is at the bottom of each of these sections, you'll see a little message here. So in this case, there's a red exclamation point, which means I haven't met the criteria or the conditions of this particular selection um, because I have to select one of these courses. So I'm gonna pick math six plus, which is what we recommend for most incoming grade six students, and hit OK. Uh, next, it's possible that I may, have been, I may have been recommended for a learning support class. So to check if I've been recommended for that, I'll click on the pencil icon. And again, I can see here that I have not been uh, recommended to take a learning support class. Uh, and so I am unable to select either of the buttons, either of the courses here. Uh, so in this case, there's absolutely nothing to do. Um, if I were to be, if I was to see one of these buttons here, it means I have been recommended. And I can actually see here in the course description whether I've been recommended for every second day learning support or for daily learning support. Um, in this case, there's nothing there, so I will hit OK and move on to the next step. Uh, next is languages. Now, all grade six students are required to take a language course unless you have some official school-based exception, such as taking learning support. I'll see here that I have access to all three of the novice courses offered in grade six, Chinese, French, and Spanish, as well as a uh, recommendation for Chinese six intermediate mid made by my child's current Chinese teacher. So I'm gonna select that because we recommend that you continue learning the language that you've already started and hit okay. Now I have a choice of a music class. Music classes are optional. Uh, in middle school. Now, they do run all year and they run for every other day. And so I can see here that I have three selection, three choices. All students have these same three choices, band six, choir six, or string six beginning. So for students who have had no experience with a strings instrument. We do have some students who have had lots of previous experience with the strings instrument. And so if you think string six intermediate is, uh, is something for you, um, you can see here it says to please contact the middle school to schedule an audition. Uh, I'm gonna take band six and hit okay. Now, my final choice here are these trimester electives. And as a reminder, trimester electives run for one trimester and they meet every other day. Now, depending on my previous selection, I'll, be, I'll need to pick up to six of these. So if I did not pick a music class, I'll pick six of these. If I did pick a music class, I will choose three of them. Um, in this case, I will pick art, coding and digital media and hit okay. 
And then the final thing is I'll need to pick an alternate choice. Now remember, these are we're making course requests here. These aren't guaranteed. We, we, we do try our best to make sure that we can give you all of your choices, but sometimes a certain combination of trimester electives or a combination of a music class and a language class just don't work out. Um, so we do try our best though to make all of your requests happen. Uh, but just in case, you're gonna pick a backup here and I'm gonna pick uh, drama six. And I'm gonna hit okay. And, and at the very bottom here, I'll see this little uh, thing here that says, you know, that I am, that it requires 48 credit hours or 48 units of courses to select and that I am, am currently requesting 48 credit hours. That means that I have completed this task successfully. For example, if I got confused, let's say in the trimester electives and picked an extra course, it would, that red exclamation point would show up. You're saying, oh, there's still a problem. I need to go back and fix something. So I'll just go back and I'll unselect drama. And maybe, maybe, I, need, maybe I wanna go back and fix something else. I can go back and go, actually, you know what? Maybe instead of drama, I wanna take movement six and I can hit okay. So you can go back and edit this after you've completed the process one time. And then once this is all done, there'll be a chance to submit at the very bottom and you are done.